So the question is why do intelligent, smart, capable, amazing people that understand everything there is to understand, read all the books, listen to all the speakers, still experience stress and anxiety? Well, my opinion is that because it's not in your mind. Because it's not the mind that creates it. Even though we try and rationalize it with our mind, the solution, even though we try and, and, and solve it when we reactively try and, and, and resolve our stresses, they still keep coming back, still keep uh, overwhelming us. And it is not our mind. Well, if it's not our mind, then what is it? Well, I believe that actually it is simple self-identity of anxiety and stress that has to do with the levels of our awareness of ourself through body sensation. Does that make sense to you? I'll, I'll repeat that again. There were so many words in that. I believe that anxiety, stress, and even depression have direct uh, link to our own self-identity, not through the mind and understanding alone, but also on top of that through the sensation of the body that gives us the feeling of stress and anxiety. In other words, we self-identify as, some, as somebody that has stress and anxiety. We have a self-identity of that at the level of physical sensations. And no matter how smart we are and how many times we say to ourselves, we should not do it, we are bigger than this and life is bigger than that, all of those things, they help us for that moment, sometimes, but it doesn't resolve the issue. Because the issue, because we, our survival, our life, is not dependent on what we understand. And, and we, we're starting to, to question this, right? So, so our life is obviously not dependent on what we understand and know, but it's more dependent of, on self-identity that has its root in body sensations. So what I've done is I've, I've worked on many, many years with many ancient traditions and I have developed an integrated method, which I call the art of BIM. The art of BIM is an integrated method. Uh, BIM stands for bioenergetic intuitive meditation. Now, bioenergetic stands for the uh, bioenergy of the body, for the energy that gives us life. Intuitive, obviously, uh, is based on uh, the ability to follow something unfamiliar and to trust it, to go into the unknown and to trust it. That's what intuition is, by the way. And, of course, meditation means working with self. Okay? So now we, we have the work with the bioenergy, the energy that gives us life, through an intuitive process, through the ability to uh, boldly go into uh, unfamiliar territory, with the trust that we are safe there, and meditation, of course, working within us. So this method uh, is actually consists of a meditation which is a little bit different than most of us are familiar with. This meditation begins from a standing posture. This meditation does not require clearing your mind, does not require any postures, to know any postures, does not require any previous experience. It's based on the most natural uh, experience of the body and I guide you through it in a 30-minute um, uh, exercise okay. to experience the art of being meditation uh, to help you go to the core of your anxiety and stress to actually change the way you experience yourself to expand your self-identity not only where it happens at the mind level, but actually at the body level, that which is truly holding you back. Click on the link at this video or below on this page, and I will send you uh, your first meditation, your first guided meditation with the Art of Bim. Thank you.